some keyboard music by Handel here, played on the piano, what would originally have been harpsichord music. This is Philip Edward Fisher at the piano, keyboard suite number four in E minor by Handel. Got original 1966 Chevrolet uh, C20, original AM radio. Uh, these are pretty cool. I like the way all they're string driven. The the needle in it is. Uh, we've done a basic Aurora design conversion on it. Uh, you have a little small uh, stereo light here and operating LED in behind here. Everything polished and cleaned up good. Uh, it, it now has AM FM stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It even has a pre-out on it if you want to add a sub. Uh, this is your harness for your auxiliary in. It's a two-piece. Uh, this one you plug in the radio and then put wherever you want to under the dash or in the glove box, wherever you'd like to. Right now you're on FM. Moody.edu. Base and travel like you've always had. If you want to go to AM radio, you just simply turn the radio off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. Off and right back on. Takes you right back to FM. Now, if you hook up two speakers, you'll have a stereo light, and you'll have balance. It's all built in your fader, your toner control. If you hook up three or more, you'll have balance, stereo light, and fader. I'll demonstrate to you how that works. Right now, you're wide open treble. There's bass. You want to go to midways. And we're going to go into fader mode by going clockwise twice, like a 12 to 2 motion. It's going to beep. When it gets through beeping, we're going to be in the fader mode. We can fade from front to rear. After that, we're going to go counterclockwise, like a 12 to 10 motion. It's going to beep, and then it's going to go into the balance mode. As long as you're moving this in them modes, you can stay in there until you get what you want. Uh, when you reach where you think you like it, just stop. It'll beep once and go back to toner. Let's go into fader. Raise your ears, fronts. We're gonna balance it out, let it beat. Now we're gonna go into uh, balance, right and left, counterclockwise. One, two. There's your lefts. You can balance from right to left. When you get to find what you want, just stop and let it beat. Now we're back on treble and bass. Spinning out of control. There's With 100% white meat popcorn chicken. Now your auxiliary in is automatic. You can plug anything into it you want to. You'll get a male to male cord along with that in there. And all you gotta do is just plug it in here and put any device you want to on it, your phone, iPod, MP3, CD player, satellite radio, whatever you want to. Just turn your device on and hit play. That plugged all the way in. Now you notice the LED went to green. That's auxiliary in. I ain't looking for a smart guy, school guy. Radio's got a lot of punch, good sound, clear. 
When you get ready to come off any auxiliary end device, all you do is bring it up and turn it off. And in 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where you had it. If you want to shorten that 20 seconds, just simply turn it off and back on. But if you don't, it will automatically change over. We're going to let it do its thing and change back. Checking it out, make sure everything works. Alright, back on FM like we were. That's how your auxiliary in, balance fader. Uh, it automatically knows how many speakers it's running when you uh, turn it on. It runs the diagnostics on itself and the speaker. 66C20. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.